Absolutely, and we've talked about how during this winning streak, the Schooners have been stranding runners left and right, but it hasn't mattered, as once it came down to it, they're able to get those clutch hits, as we saw Jack Goodman was able to do, and then that opened the floodgates for the rest of the offense. Sam Kirkpatrick, in particular, having a massive game. Three singles and driving in a run. And the Schooners, no matter how many runners they strand, once they're finally able to break free, that is when they can cause trouble for a team, even like the goals. Last time these two teams faced, they were coming off of a doubleheader sweep, lost to the goals. But ever since then, they haven't lost a game. See, the big strengths of the Schooners all season long have been pitching and getting on base through walks despite their low hitting statistics but now during this win streak the hits have been piling in a few guys in particular have been scorching hot Sam Kirkpatrick and Mike Bellow Anthony DePino has been waking up as well and a lot of these guys have finally settled into wooden bats after a year of aluminum bats at college and the hits have been pouring in and so have the wins Stevens just trying to work his way on the base that'll get him and that smoked Back at the track, looking up as well, and it's out of here! Juju Stevens puts the Schooners back on top! The first dinger of the year at a pivotal moment, and the Schooners go up 3-2! Two. 2-2 two, two now with two outs, he deals. Swing and a miss! Almer calls game, and the Schooners are in the win column! 3-2, your final here from the Shark Tank. What a win for your Mystic Schooners. Changing their name to the Connecticut Tigers, and now it's shared by the Sea Unicorns and Schooners who record the strikeout. Everett Catlett with the big strikeout there. Blows him by and retires the side. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left on. Midway through the second, Schooners 2, Westerners nothing here on the NECBL Network. On board, the 3-1 from Almer. That's chopped over to Almer, who gets it. The throw to first, Almer calls game, and the Schooners finally get the home win. 3-2, to two, your final from Dodd, and the triumphant Schooners swarm the mound, finally getting a win at Dodd Stadium. Two balls, two strikes, no outs. Landon Moran at the plate. The pitch from Kent is chopped up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit. In comes Lucini, rounding third is Spur. The Schooners score two runs. Landon Moran delivers again, and it is six to four, Mystic. Ball one there to DePino. Andrade already winding up now. The 1 0 is smacked deep to center field. Looking up at the wall and watching it go, are Breeding and Hare. Anthony DePino with the moonshot giving Fletcher the much needed run support. It is two to nothing Schooners. Drive in a few more here and he skies that one. Getting there and making the catch at the fence was Crone to save a pair of runs. A phenomenal jumping catch at the fence. Saves the run and ends this inning so no runs on three hits, no errors, two stranded. We are through six at Cardines, still five to two goals. Ladies and gentlemen, they have let the Mad Dog out of the pen. It's Maddox Delena, the starting third baseman, coming on to pitch for the Schooners with the bases loaded and two outs. The one two from Delena. In there for strike three. The Mad Dog gets the big strikeout. And that finally retires the side. The claps rise at Dodd on this steamy, shockingly not rainy <laughs> evening. The 0-2 outside, and he could afford to miss that one. Foreboding mist here, visible in the lights at Dodd. Crowd staying sheltered in case the faucets go back on. But Ketterman is at second. Pierantoni at the plate. Pedeswa deals outside again. And that gets the deuces wild on the board. Two and two with two outs. This is a chess match here between hitter and pitcher. Pedeswa dealing. 
And that one slapped right to Kopak. Tosses it to Pedeswa in time to retire the side. So Pedeswa calls checkmate on that. After getting three singles in Newport. And that one is going to drop in for a base hit. Bellow calls game. And the Schooners win. Mike Bello delivers on the pinch hit walk off up the gap. A valiant effort from Bourne to try to save it. But the Schooners mobbing Mike Bello. An unbelievable pinch hit at bat on the first pitch. Sends in Melnick with the winning run. Your final score from Dodd. Three to two Schooners who have won seven straight. This game one of the doubleheader, ending in the most dramatic of fashions. The 0-1 is driven up the gap, and it's going to drop the Schooners win! Callahan calls game, and the Schooners walk off the Navigators! Caleb Stelly's base-running heroic set up Tim Callahan in his first Home game as a schooner walks off North Shore. What a finish. Three and one here, and that's driven deep into left field. Going back, and it's at the wall. Chasing it, Shapiro in to scores. Kirkpatrick right behind him, Bello. Goodman delivers what would be a homer in most parks. He has been phenomenal this year, and he adds two more. For the Schooners, making this a 7-2 ball game in favor of Mystic. And all Garrett Howe has to do is advance to base somehow, and that gives them the insurance run. Again, Mystic brought it back, so it's a 3-2 ball game. Far from comfortable for the Waves, and they'll want to take advantage of this one going into the seventh inning. He doesn't even need to advance to bring in the run. A wild pitcher, a flyer, will do it as there is still a wow. Nazar's <laughs> jinx. Wow. I am going to owe some schooners an apology on that one. Oh, my goodness. That one skips by Sullivan. The wild pitch scores Ramirez. Wow. That is one of the worst announcer's jinx I have ever seen in my life. As it is now 4-2 to two Ocean State. And the sprinklers have been turned on. Can you believe this? Unbelievable. Just when you thought you saw it all. I cannot believe what I am seeing right now. But the sprinklers have come on at 11.55 p.m. I am not sure what they're going to do here. The Schooners lead 11-3. to three. The sprinklers have turned on, and we are five minutes away from midnight. Oh, Kirkpatrick Kirk. drives that one deep. It's going back, 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 back. It's gone. Oh, that's gone. That's a homer. Sam Kirkpatrick. They're calling that. They're calling that off the wall. I thought that landed above. I the thought yellow. it hit the top. The yellow. They might. I wonder if they're gonna look at that. Yeah, I bet Phil will say something here. Man, I thought I had my first home run call here for the Schooners at Dodd. This is a proud franchise. Ten straight playoffs, one of the most consistent in the league. But they come up short here. And again, I had called two baseball games heading in to this year. And they gave me a chance, and it was a great ride. I grew up going to Dodd Stadium for ten years as a kid. Got to visit the broadcast booth was a dream come true and I got to call that my office this summer it was an experience I'll never forget getting to call games in a league where I grew up watching at a stadium where I grew up going to and as far as I know right now I should be back next year but this was a phenomenal first year the schooners going 26 and 18 in my first season it was some great memories that none of these guys will ever forget, and I look forward to watching these guys grow in the future.